After more than 50 years, law enforcement finally believes they have found the man who murdered two teens. 19-year-old Diane Olkowitz and 15-year-old Terry Erdman, the latest cold case cracked using advancements in genetic technology. And after those five decades, Sean Gallagher shows us how friends of the victims are relieved. It's been nearly 60 years since Norm Gross has seen his classmate, Diane Olkowitz, but she's never far from his thoughts. She's always on your mind, you know, something like this is just a tragedy that happened. It's terrible. Norm's classmate took her last breath here on Silver Spring Drive in 1966 after being stabbed over 100 times at work. And five years later on this stretch of train tracks near Appleton Avenue, Terry Erdman's body was found. She too was viciously stabbed over 60 times. The two teens' bodies discovered only about two miles apart, but forever intertwined, after investigators identified the same murderer's DNA on both bodies, his name coming to light for the first time Wednesday. The suspect's DNA profile from the Oakwitz homicide and the Erdman homicide was consistent with DNA profile of Clarence Marcus Tappenforth. They were crimes that grasped the community's attention at the time. Here's archived footage of Olkowitz's funeral on TMJ4 in 1966 and a follow-up story on Erdman's death in 1971. Camera footage isn't the only technological improvement since then. Genetic testing advancements allowed law enforcement agencies to take DNA from the Olkowitz case and match it to the Erdman case within the last two years. And to take it a step further, investigators submitted that DNA through commercial genetic testing to ID relatives to Clarence Marcus Tappendorf. With the name, police went back through old investigative files for drop-offs here at Olkowitz's old job on Silver Spring Avenue. Tappendorf's name wasn't on the list for a drop-off here on the day of the murder, but rather a business across the street, helping fill a 57-year-old gap in the investigative timeline. Based on the irrefutable physical evidence, it's the position of the Miami Falls Police Department that Clarence Tappenforth is responsible for the murder of Diane Olkowitz. Law enforcement says Tappendorf had no criminal background and they have no idea for a motive behind the attacks. Tappendorf died in 2008, spending the last 37 years of his life undetected by law enforcement. These were terrible, terrible crimes um, that impacted not only the victims, but the family members um, who have waited for decades for justice in this case. And it saddens me that the person responsible wasn't able to be brought to justice while he was alive. But I'm glad that we were able to bring closure to this case. Closure that is nearly 60 years in the making for Norm. Very happy that this has finally come to an end. Investigators couldn't say if Tappendorf is connected to any other unsolved murders, but they say they'll hang on to the evidence in this case to see if he's tied to any other cold cases. Reporting in Menominee Falls, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News. Now the FBI tells us this is the oldest cold case in the country solved by using DNA.